Today I will teach you how to make a handmade sketchbook. These are the materials you will need. Beginning with paper, you can choose any size and thickness of paper, but the size does determine the size of your sketchbook. For a 9 by 12 sketchbook, you will need 12 by 18 paper. Backing board. If your sketchbook is to be 9 by 12, you will need two pieces of 9 by 12 backing board. Backing board can be made out of anything strong, like cardboard or even a cereal box. Duct tape. Your duct tape needs to be the length of the height of your sketchbook times two, plus a little wiggle room. Dental floss. Three feet of dental floss will be plenty. If you don't have dental floss, fishing line or any other string will work also. You will need something to poke holes, either an awl or a nail, and a needle. Let's begin by cutting the tape. To measure the tape, cut it twice the length of the height of your sketchbook. Place the tape sticky side up and then the two boards on top, leaving a quarter inch space between them. Fold the tape down and smooth out. Fold your paper in half, no more than 10 pieces of paper to start. Insert your paper inside of your backing board with the fold of the paper on top of the fold of the duct tape. Clip these in place using binder clips or paper clips and then mark your holes as shown. Poke holes using the nail or an awl through the dots you created careful not to move them. Be sure to put a block of wood or magazines underneath your fold before poking holes. To begin sewing, thread your string through the needle and overlap the strings a few inches and twist them together. There is no need to tie a knot. Push the needle down through hole number one and then pull it until only three to four inches of the string remains on the inside. Push the needle up through hole number two and then back down through hole number three. Finish by pulling the needle up through hole number one. You should have one end of the string on the left and one end of the string on the right. Tie a knot around or over the center middle string. Repeat this step for the other set of holes if you have a large sketchbook. If you have a small sketchbook, this is only necessary once. Congratulations, you did it. You made your own sketchbook. And at any point in time, you can add another set of paper if you need to.